Welcome back to this I-24 News Evening Edition. This is the Daily Debate. The Temple Mount in Jerusalem, or Al-Haram Sharif, is one of the most sensitive holy sites in the world. It's honored in both Judaism and Islam, in Judaism as the location of the holiest part of the two Asian temples that stood about 2,000 years ago, and where religious Jews hope a third temple will one day be built. And in Islam, the third holiest place where the Prophet Prophet Muhammad is believed to have risen to heaven. Jewish prayer is forbidden at the site. It uh, again became the site of clashes on Tuesday along with a debate in Israeli parliament on Jewish access to the site and drew reactions around the Arab world. Joining me tonight is Bashar Iraqi. Good evening. Thank you very much for Hello, coming. Adv advisor to Israeli Parliament member Isawi Farij and Yehuda Glick, director of the Liba Initiative for Jewish Freedom of the Temple Mount. Good evening. Thank you very much for coming. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. So, uh, before we're starting, why can't Jews go and pray on the Al Haram Sharif or the Temple Mount? Why they can't? Why, why they can't? Well, last time I checked, there was a few rabbis, famous ones, who said, uh, by Judaism, it's forbidden for you guys to go up till the Messiah comes down. And um, I think it's, it's the right thing to do right now because due to the situation that we live at, due to the political situation that we li live at. Um, you know, before I came to the interview, I was thinking about why are we doing this interview? Why are we doing this debate? And I went back a few years ago when Sharon decided to go up to the mountain and I think it's a recipe of becoming a prime minister or a becoming a politician in Israel it's to choose to uh, provoke to provoke the Arab world the Muslim world the people you live with uh, you step on few bodies from the Jewish and the Palestinian Arab Muslim that doesn't matter side and then you become famous and the Temple Mountain is one of the most sensitive places in the world not just in Israel or in Palestine and um, trying to target this place on the way it's being targeted today, I don't think it's about Jewish beliefs. I don't think it's about uh, because I th I see as a as a Muslim, as an Arab, as a human, I see that a Jewish belief would tell you to do something that doesn't harm people, even if it's your right to get. And I think this is written somewhere in the Torah. I I, I can't remember which verse. So um, I am with seeing things in reality and being very careful in what we say and what we do, especially when we talk about these things because it will take the whole region to places we don't want to go to. I'm sure you have something to say. <laughs> in my belief, uh, I think that uh, freedom of prayer, I think that tolerance, I think that sharing are all basics in in Western world, in Western society, and I don't think that it's culturally uh, acceptable that somebody else would say that you are going up to Temple Mount because you have a reasoning. I go up to Temple Mount every single day, almost every single day, I, and I've been doing that for over oh, like 25 years. I don't do that for any other reason than just going to the holiest place in the world, the only place in the world where a Jew is obligated to go. And therefore, I think that, well, I would say, uh, we are talking about sharing, coexistence, tolerance, respecting one another. In what world do these things have anything to do with aggravating, igniting, rather than sharing calm, peace? And this is, this is what, what the whole concept M is. Mr. Gluck, do you have the phone number of uh, Figlin, M.K. Figlin? Figlin. Yeah. Because you should talk to him, because he's the one who came with this suggestion. Um, actually, last night we spent some, some quality time hearing him talking about why he wants to go to the Temple Mountain and why he wants the Jews to go to the Temple Mountain. And again, I come back to the recipe. The recipe of becoming a prime minister, the recipe of becoming someone famous in this country is, is it, it's a, there are a few lines you have to cross and a few words you have to say, and then it's over there. Now, about the right of praying. When I hear you, uh, saying what you're saying, it actually sounds very, uh, very realistic and very fair. And and but when I hear 
like the other side when I hear MK uh, uh, Moshe Fagling saying the way that it's been said, the way to ignite uh, maybe um, a, some kind of uh, anger among the Arabs, among the uh, to let's say to make them feel bad, it doesn't sound the way that you're saying it. it doesn't, because if you are every day going uh, to the Temple Mount, I believe that you have no fear going there. Uh, uh, well, I, I would say like this, uh, Lucy, I think that genuine peace, which we all want here in the Middle East, must begin with tolerance and respect. I go up to the Temple Mount every single day, but I suffer from violence, verbal violence, sometimes even stones that are thrown at me. I try to develop for myself a mechanism of very thick skin, trying to ignore all of that. But the fact that I can't recite a prayer, while at the same time I see others who claim this place to be a holy place, playing football, having picnics, doing other things, I can't understand in what world will the fact that I recite a prayer or that I have a Bible in my hand and I am an official licensed tour guide. I take my, guide, my, my, my tourists all over the world. I was, I, when I visited Istanbul, I visited the, 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 the mosque there. There was any, no, no problem for any, any, anything like that. Even if we're you come to my city and you visit the mosque, it would not be a problem over there, Mr. Glick. You know this. You know this. Uh, You're Lucy, talking about a very just, sensitive... Can I, can I just finish my sentence? Please, Please do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I try not to interfere. Thank you. Uh, in what society does anybody... Where in the world can you hear that if I'm going to mumble with my, my, my lips, that's going to cause a World War III? If that's the case, then the job of the police is to make sure those who are trying to lead something like that be, be, not, not be allowed to go there. And I def definitely think that it doesn't matter whether Jews, Muslim, or Christian, anybody who supports peace, anybody who supports praying, talking to God, should be allowed to the Temple Mount. So if anybody, anybody who, this is my last two sentences, yes. anybody who, who wants to instigate hate, terror, or anything else, just like MK Ahmed Tibi did yesterday when he went up and hugged all those people who were calling for violence, these things should not be, these people should not be allowed on the Temple Mount. So uh, um, if we're talking about it should be uh, based on um, honor and education and respecting one another, so maybe this place, because it's a disputed place, because mm -hmm. this place is very, um, let's say, it's, it's very sensitive, um, maybe the sovereignty should be uh, international. Maybe an international body should take responsibility on this place, and because both sides actually cannot. I'm not. I'm not well, we're talking about three different subjects over here. We're talking about religious rights, religious beliefs. We're talking about the, the actual situation that we have right now. And let's let's go once one more step ahead and talk about peace. The way you mentioned that everyone wants peace, though I doubt that everyone wants peace. To do the three things that I just mentioned together, you have to be very careful and very realistic. The, the requests you're asking right now, with all due respect to your beliefs, I respect your beliefs and I want you to have the right to pray, even in my house if you wish to, but not today, not the way things seem today. You know exactly, you know exactly how sensitive it is, you know that it's an obstacle towards peace, and even even talking about this subject right now, it's, we, we are in the middle of, of maybe reaching somehow uh, a place where we can meet finally on a, in a, in a peace treaty between the Palestinians and the, the State of Israel, and targeting these issues will only make it harder. Now, it's not, and, and it's not about, it's not about you going over there and and uh, reciting Bible or uh, or connecting with with God. Um, I ask you, I ask you as a, as a human, I ask you as a man, I ask you as a believer as well, um, would your beliefs allow you to pray and at the same time harm someone else's feelings or beliefs or practicing your prayers would lead to violence? Would but, you allow that? But, uh, you know, I will, I will try to, uh, you know, I'm always taking one. This, sometimes this side and sometimes this side. You take and I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm, this is my uh, my job as a host. Um, how come it, it's hurting Muslims uh, that Jews are actually pray, praying uh, on a holy place, which we know that is holy 
for the Jews as well. How come um, freedom of religion is not respected well, by Muslims? Again, we, we, we can't use these terms to justify certain things. It's not about religion. It's not about religion. It is about religion. No, it's not about religion. Lucy. When it we is talk about, about when we talk about when we talk about the Middle East, the first thing that comes to people mind, to people's mind is is politics and and violence, and we have a history of lack of trust between the two nations, it, between Muslims and Jews in the, in, in, in uh, historical Palestine or the, the the map of the countries we live at. Mr. Glick is a settler. He lives in a settlement somewhere near Hebron and he wants to practice his beliefs in the Temple Mountain. That doesn't seem to anyone. He practices actually every day. Or, or, uh, or practicing it as he says and he, it will lead to uh, uh, somewhere dark in the end. A settler that goes to the mountain to pray, that is not very peaceful. Now you believe that biblical right gives you the right to be where you live and, 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 and to practice what you do, but, but you are not considering true. the other side, you're not considering me, you're not considering anyone else who you know, cares Bashar, about the, 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 I, the mountain you want to go up to. I, I agree with every uh, thing that you're saying about human, about uh, tolerance, but I don't understand why we're two, mu we, both of us are Muslims. I don't understand why by Islam it's not okay that Jews will pray on no the one Temple said, Mount. No one said that. No one said it's not okay. You know, in Islam, it comes earth, from the word peace. Earth, so earth is 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 the place where you pray, wherever you wish, wherever it's clean enough for you to pray. As a Muslim, as a Christian, you practice, or, or as a Jew, you practice your beliefs. But it's not about we want you to pray or not want you to pray. Again, it's a it's a, a religious issue covered with a lot of politics, a lot of and, hate, And you a lot just of told anger. me that it's not a religious issue. So, uh, okay, I will let you answer and then I will stop interfering. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I think that, uh, once again, if anybody wants to talk about peace, and at the same time is not going to respect somebody else's basic right to speak to God in the holiest place in the world, then I don't know where, where we're going to reach to in, in, in any kind of peace talks. I, I, You're a settler, I, Mr. Glick. What kind of peace you see? I have many Muslim friends, and I believe in coexistence, and I believe just like, you know, in Israel, in the Israeli uh, Knesset, there are many Arab, uh, 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 Arabs who are part of the Knesset. I don't know how many Jews are in, in, the, in the Arab states part of, we're talking about sharing, we're talking about tolerance. I don't understand why the Muslim world here in Israel cannot understand well, it's the not the Muslim world in Israel, Mr. Gilk. Again, it, it, come on, you're not ignorant. You're someone who has masters. You're someone who is educated. You're a rabbi. You're a, you're a certified tour guide. You know more than this. Don't claim that religion is the reason why you're doing this. Don't claim that you don't know that the other side will, and, 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 be, and, will be angry towards what you're trying to do. Excuse me. You are a settler. You're talking about peace. You're saying you have Muslim friends. You have Muslim friends. This is how you are trying to show the audience that you are a peaceful man. Mr. Glick, when you live in a settlement and you decide to go to pray, that is not peaceful at all. If you want to practice peace, let's, if you want to practice your religion freely at this mountain, let's reach peace. Uh, you know, I, Things I think, will I think change. In a cultural discussion, you know, I could have said, you know, Mr. Bashar, you live in, in Israel, go move to, 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 to Jordan, go live this area. That's right. Excuse me. What right? I, okay, I don't understand why somebody is he's telling me he knows why I go to the Temple Mount. He knows why I'm living where I'm living. He knows everything about me. Maybe he can come in and talk and answer me instead of me. I will, I, I will. I, you can, you I can take, you can I take really, the biblical right. You can I really, take the excuse biblical me, right. let me finish my sentence. Mr. Glick, you can take Mr. the biblical Bashar, right please let me you finish live my in a sentence. settlement no, that doesn't make I you live, a peaceful man. I live in this a, is terrorism me. at best. When you okay. go up to the mountain as a settler, you know that you provoke people over there. That is not, that is not a peaceful smile. Let's it's let not us, practicing uh, religion. Let's, uh, let's let him answer for the last 30 seconds. I raised my eight children and four grandchildren in a settlement living peacefully with my Arab neighbors and, and, and many Arabs 
who are friendly with myself, including some of them even invite me to their with the children's weddings, and we are very close and on, a, on a human level. Even if, if, if one of them is in need and he knows he, he can he talk to me, there's no problem. This, this is what I call peace. When somebody says to me, listen, you're living in, and raising your kids in a kindergarten, that's terror? I, Throwing stones is terror in my, in, in my, in my, in my I language. Have, talk, yeah. talking, I, have, I, have, I have to finish, gentlemen, uh, but I'm sure that we will bring you back again. Thank you very much for staying with us. Ten minutes break, and we'll be back with a one-on-one. -on -one.